Mike here and welcome to QTS Tech Bytes. Today we'd like to talk about machine tool axes and typically three axis machine tools. Now when we talk about axes we talk about plural which is multiple axes and we talk about axis which is singular which is just designated as axis. Now normally on a three axis machine tool we have three axes and we have to talk about them in individuality per axis. And we have a z-axis, a x-axis, and a y-axis, as you can see on my little diagram here. And so, typically these could be a vertical or a horizontal machine tool. So, we have a central focal point here of these axes. And if we have a z-axis here, if we have an x-axis over here, and we have a y-axis over here, they all come from the central focal point or a whole position. Typically, the z-axis is where the spindle is. And that would be a rotational axis on a vertical machine tool. That would be where your tool would go and would rotate. Now, there are other axes designations for rotary axes as well. Let's say you have a rotary table or a uh, trunnion table on a machine. That is a rotational axis. And so, we could actually have a rotary axis along the x-axis or a rotary axis along the y-axis. Now, we would designate these as A for X, B for Y, and C for Z. So A rotates around the x-axis, B rotates around the y-axis, and C rotates around the Z axis, such as my little diagram shows right here. We have C rotating around Z, A rotating around X, and B rotating around Y. And you'll find out that in your alphabet, if we have our A, B, C, and X, Y, Z on our alphabet here, all linear axes are on the latter part of the alphabet. And all rotary axes are on the beginning part of the alphabet. So that's how we designate that. So A is to X, as B is to Y, and C is to Z. So if I say, what rotates around the Z axis? Well, we know that C rotates around Z. And what would rotate around the, the Y axis? Well, B would rotate around the Y axis. And what would rotate around the X axis? Well, that would be A. So A is to X, B is to Y, and C is to Z. So this is our designation for our axis nomenclature on a three-axis machine tool. And so there's quite a bit more to this. But we have multi-axis machine tools, and that's a discussion for another topic later on. So this has been Laser Mike with QTS Tech Bytes. Thanks for watching, and we hope you join us next time.